In class, we did a couple of examples of composition of functions. We were evaluating, well, sort of composition. Um, we were evaluating functions at a certain value, and a couple of them um, were a little algebra intensive. Some of you, I'm willing to bet, have questions about the details in the algebra, but aren't willing to ask. So I figured um, I'd make you a video, that way you can go watch it on your own and nobody has to know you didn't quite get it. So this is from example three, where we were evaluating, evaluating f of a plus h. So I have my function written And we want f at a plus h. I'm going to change this color because I think it really helps to have that visual of the color difference. So I'm going to start writing my original function, but I'm going to leave holes where the x's are. So this would be a whole squared plus three times my whole minus four. Then I'm going to go fill in my whole with a plus h. Every whole gets an a plus h. Now here's where the algebra might have gotten a little bit sticky for you. When I calculate or when I expand a plus h quantity squared, that changes to a plus h times a plus h. And here is where I jumped a step. So when we do FOIL, that is first, so A times A, and that's A squared, then outside that's plus AH inside, that's another plus AH. And then the last two terms. So that's going to be a plus H squared. Then I have to distribute the three To the a, so that gives me a 3a, and then 3 times h. And then my poor little minus 4 doesn't get to do anything, he just gets to be brought down to the next line. Then we go collect like terms. I only have one a squared. I have two a H's. So I get plus two A H. I only have one H squared. I only have one three A. I only have one term with an H in it. And as ugly as that is, that's the final answer. Now the second one that was pretty sticky was the same function, but we wanted the 
Nope, that was an H, I believe. A plus H. Minus F of A all divided by H. Here we go. F of A plus H was this part we just did. So that's, and I want to keep it together. Then I want to subtract f of a. We did that problem earlier. Here's our f of a. I just want to make sure I write it down correctly. A squared plus 3A minus 4. And I need to keep everything divided by H. So there's nothing I need to do to the first part. There's no sign out front, so nothing is going to change in the first part. That's going to stay a squared plus 2ah plus h squared plus 3a plus 3h minus 4. But I have to distribute the negative all the way through that set of brackets. So what's that, what that's going to do is give me a negative a squared and a negative 3a. And then a negative times a negative is a positive, so I'm going to have a positive 4. All of that still goes over H. So we're gonna try to make this look a little bit better. When I combine my like terms, I have a positive A squared and a negative A squared. Those are gonna cancel each other out. I see a positive 3A and a negative 3A. Those are gonna cancel each other out. And I see a negative 4 and a positive 4 that are going to cancel each other out. So I'm left with 2AH plus H squared plus 3H all over H. Now I notice that everything in the numerator has an H. So I'm going to factor out my greatest common factor. So that means I'm going to put an H in the front and all of my leftovers still in the parentheses. So this is going to be 2A plus H plus 3. I'm going to nerd out on you a little bit. This can be rewritten as h over h times 2a plus h plus 3 over 1. h divided by h is just 1. So really, 
one times anything doesn't change the value. And then something divided by one doesn't change the value of the thing. So our final answer is 2a plus h plus 3.